My name is Christine Lilly. My mom always teases because I came out uh, breech, so I came out kicking. So there you have it. <laughs> I always wanted to have a family. It just um, was a matter of time and timing. So I told my family, I'm not going to be, you know, playing the Olympics. So they, my mom kind of looked at me and I was like, because they're going to have a baby. And then she started to cry and all that comes with that. <laughs> As a baby, I was tiny, I was six pounds, four ounces. But my husband was about nine pounds. So, he thinks I'm gonna be bedridden in like a month. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, but I don't know, so we'll see what, what comes out, but hopefully a little in between that would be nice. In the beginning, I didn't feel like I was pregnant so much because I didn't have any sickness the first three months. And then, you start seeing the real changes get a little bigger and you start feeling movement. And that movement's been crazy. It's like someone came and invaded your body. But it's been so neat and I think, I mean, every woman that's been pregnant can understand this, but trying to explain to someone that has an organ to my husband, like, he's just like, I, I just don't get it, <laughs> you know? They don't, you don't get it. And now you understand how moms have that connection with their child or that nurturing and immediate connection because you've, you've had this child in your, in, inside you. B you're bonding with it immediately. You're wor worried about it even before it's, it's out of you. So it's been really cool. It's been nice not to travel. It's been nice to be home and be with my husband, my dog. My mom will come up for the birth because this is my first and advice will follow. <laughs> We don't know the sex. Uh, my brother, they found out on all theirs, so they're like, are you kidding me? You're not gonna find out. Um, but it, I'm, I'm one of those kids at Christmas that will save, wants to save the best present for last or any kind of candy you wanna save the favorite color for last. So I always like to save the best for last, so that's how I equate it. You know, save the surprise for the end.